Hi guys. All right. I am going to be doing something that I normally don't do. I've only done this like one other time on lipstick. So this time I'm going to do it on face powder. So pardon my hair. I've got it out of the way so I can apply makeup. And um, I'm going to have to look close to read some labels because I can't see without my glasses. But of course you can't put on makeup with glasses. So with all that said, First, for uh, foundation pressed makeup, okay, the powder makeup, normally I use CoverGirl. It's my preference. But I am going to compare it to LA. Now, I got the beige color in the LA. LA does not have an array of shades in a certain shade whereas CoverGirl does. I have got creamy beige here in CoverGirl and this is just beige. So let's go on ahead and get into the comparing. So cheaply made, I can tell you that. First off, the compactor is thin and flimsy like. And the applicator is nothing more than just a simple sponge. And I guarantee you, you go to use that to apply makeup, you ain't going to do diddly squat. That just, that's not a good sponge, not a good applicator. They say it's a puff. That's not a puff. Not a puff. Whereas CoverGirl has got hinges on their compact right here. And their compact is heavy and sturdy. And the puff is that. A puff. A nice applicator. I like their puffs. Now, as you can see, I've used a lot of my CoverGirl. I love my CoverGirl. Boy, I can smell it right here. I tell you, I love CoverGirl. So, the color is off. It might be a beige, but it'd be nice if there would be shade within the shade. Whereas my CoverGirl, creamy paint, creamy beige. It's just a little darker. Here's the comparison. As you can see, CoverGirl's a little darker. Now, does that matter? It's according to your skin tone. Now, mmm, boy, I love the smell of CoverGirl. They use Noxzema in their formulas, in their, in their foundation and their powder. They use Noxzema, which is healthy for the skin. In a way, LA Color stinks. Almost smells like there's a bit of a rubber in there, a burnt rubber almost. Not very pleasant. Now, let's um, feel the texture. Kind of silky feeling. Yeah, since they gave me a puff, I'll use it to wrap my fingers off. And now for the fill of LA colors. Okay, I'll give that to them. It's silky filling. I'll give that to them. 
So as far as it goes, the texture is the same. The feeling of my rubbing my fingers with it is the same. So I'll give that to them. Yeah, I'll certainly give that to them. Now, let's see if I can... I'm on the sweaty side here. I need it to be dry. Okay. So, let's see how it applies to the skin. Now, mind you, I am using an open mind. I have never used LA Color Powder Foundation before. Okay, this is the CoverGirl. This is the LA Colors. I have to say, I like the CoverGirl application better. It almost looks as real as the skin, whereas the LA Color looks more like you just smeared baby powder on you. Here is the CoverGirl, here is the LA Colors. One doesn't blend well. LA Colors does not blend well. Okay, now I'm going to apply it to my face. Now, as you all know, if you pay close attention to my videos, like when I'm out walking and I have to look from side to side for traffic, you can tell I've got discoloration along my jawline. Now, of course, powder foundation does not completely cover the blemishes, but it helps to kind of blend the tone of your skin. So, I am going to do this side with CoverGirl and I'm going to do this side with LA Colors. Now, darn it. Well, I guess I'll use the applicator that I originally used. I was meaning to get my brush out because I used the brush. Hold on a moment here. Conveniently, my makeup box is right beside me. I should have had that out too. Sorry. Okay, so this is the brush that I'm going to use to apply the foundation powder. So, this side, cover girl. Now I do have to kind of work hard to get the powder onto the brush. If this was a brand new compactor it wouldn't be so hard, but I do have to kind of dig in to get it on the brush. But as you can tell, there it is.
Okay. That's CoverGirl. Now for LA Colors. As it happens, I have to work hard to get it on the brush. And it's a full compactor. Okay, so, cover girl, LA Colors, cover girl, LA Colors. Now, um, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to do makeup on my face. I'm going to tell you right now. Personally, I prefer the CoverGirl. And I'm not being biased. I really, really, really gave this a shot. But first off, I don't want something that smells like burnt rubber on my face and take a chance of it causing me to break out. Second off, I've always known for CoverGirl, any time that I use it, any time, which is it often, it kind of helps to clear any blemishes. And I'm not talking about skin color discoloration. I'm talking about like small pimples or something. Using this helps because they put the Noxzema in it. But when something smells that good, really, I just love it. So, let's go on ahead and make up my face. Am I going to use this? Maybe in the winter time when my skin tone comes down a little bit from the lack of tan? Maybe. Or I might give it as play makeup to my neighbors. There's a little girl over there that's about 13, 14 years old. This would kind of be perfect on her. To play with because pretty well that's all it is is just play makeup it's not serious but now if there's any of you out there that prefers LA colors to cover girl that's fine it is definitely more affordable I pay about six seven dollars for this and I only paid one dollar at the Dollar Tree for this probably would pay two dollars for this if I got it from the dollar store so yeah more affordable but this does better coverage now can you honestly beat a cheap brand from an expensive brand that has been at it for years I have been a CoverGirl fan since I was a wee little girl and it started with what little bit fingernail polish they used to sell. Well, CoverGirl has stopped selling fingernail polish, but I've still been using their makeup ever since I was allowed to start wearing makeup. It's a preference. So let's go on ahead and cover the other side of my face that LA Colors had felt to cover. A lot of times I don't even bother with liquid foundation because you know it does get a little sticky especially when you're sweating and then you take a chance of rubbing it off and so I really don't use liquid foundation except like in the winter time when I don't sweat but on occasion 
using powder makeup ain't so bad not so bad because it blends in with your skin a little better and so therefore if you end up wiping it off it's not so noticeable now there's some major coverage right there like I said you can still see the discoloration but it's not as deep Good old cover girl. This is peach colored, peach color blush. And I was so tickled the last time that I bought this. This makes the third blush that I have had in my life. And I insist that it be in cover girl peach color. The first blush that I owned was peach that mom gave me. And I loved the color so much because it blended in with my skin tone perfectly. And so when I ran out of the blush, I went to get it again. And sure enough, CoverGirl had peach. So uh, it wasn't too long ago I had gotten this and they still carried peach. It is the best shade. I've used other blushes, even cheap $5 everything makeup kits where you've got your blush your eyeshadow your mascara a shade or two of lipstick and the blush just doesn't blend well the colors are wrong for me and they don't blend well but covergirl once again and i pay five dollars for the compactor yeah i think five dollars for the blush last time i knew i believe five dollars for the blush now I just I go with the darkest color where I am tanned right now and then like during the winter time I bring it down as you can see the color that I use the most is the center one now this is something that I was taught I had gone to a Mary Kay um makeup show and it was just a private party and the representative showed us how to properly apply blush you go back toward your ears and pull the blush in and you go along your jaw your cheekbone you go along your cheekbone going from your ear in a lot of times, like in the old days, you know, we would apply from the nose out. And she said that by going from the nose out, it makes you look more like a clown. But if you go from your ear forward, it looks more natural because that's where the blush tone usually goes, is from around this area. It, it doesn't so much right there, but like around here. Now I know right now it looks thick, but watch here what I do. So here I have got Rent and Riled uh, Highlighter. A little flat tool to apply it with. And I apply it above the blush. And then I take this cutie and I blend it all in. See?
And there I've got a natural glow and a natural blush. Okay, now I'm going to apply my eyes and this is from Maybelline. This is Maybelline. Now I like using the browns because where I've got gray blue eyes and this was something that I had learned from a dear friend of mine back when I was in school. She's older than me by a couple years and she told me that brown eyes use brighter colorful eyeshadows like greens, blues, purples, such and such. And of course browns can also use neutrals and browns and blacks. Whereas blue eyes it uses uh, the tubes and the mauves and the browns and naturals. So, and this really goes so good with my skin tone. So first I'm going to apply the overall this goes on my entire eyelid from my brow down to my lashes. But not by any means am I putting anybody down for the makeup that they wear, you know. Everybody's got their own style, their own preferences, what they put on their face, what they use and everything. Now this goes onto my lid. And if I don't like how dark it is the first time, I go on ahead and put a second layer on. A lot of times I do put a second one on. Okay, now I'm going to add the shade that goes on the corner and the crease of my eyes. Now, my eyes more or less kind of droop on the corners a little, so I've always got to be careful just how I apply the corners so that it doesn't make my eyes look more down. Okay, this is where I might disappear out of view. I've got to apply my eyeliner and I definitely do have to be close for that. Excuse me. Now normally I use a brush to completely blend my eyes together to blend all the colors so that there's no runs or anything. But I didn't pull the brush out so I've got to do this with my finger. Now I'm going to use that trusty little sponge that LA Colors provided as a puff to clean my fingers off. Makes a great cleaning applicator. Cleans the stuff off my fingers. <laughs> Find more than one way to use something, right? Okay, this is Alme Mascara. Oh, and the eyeliner was LA Colors. Now that is one thing that I always use LA Colors for, is the eyeliner. I think their eyeliners are pretty well their best suit. Now, 
my eyes are sensitive to whatever mascara I use. If I cry, you know, I want a mascara that's going to not hurt my eyes. And so far, the best mascara that I have found that doesn't burn my eyes if I cry is L'Oreal. But, Alme is pretty good too. I'm going to apply just a little bit of a lighter color on my underside where the eyeliner is so that it blends in better. Most generally I use the same shade that goes on my lids. Alright, now I get to put my glasses back on. There you all are. Hi. I am very grateful that there is a way for me to have better sight, but sometimes wearing glasses really is a nuisance. There are a lot of cases where glasses are a nuisance, but I am so grateful to be able to see. So the aggravation of wearing them isn't anything compared to being, being able to have vision. And I've been wearing glasses ever since I was in first grade. So, glasses have been a part of me. They're like a part of my body. Almost like somebody who's got an amputated leg or arm, you know. The prosthetic is a part of their body. No matter how artificial it is. Okay. Now for my gorgeous lips. This is the uh, the nabby that I had showed you on a um, on on the lipstick video where I showed the different tubes. This is um, sea pearl, sea pearl. I really do like this shade because it's got such a beautiful pearly like tint to it. I mean seriously it's got like a pearl to it. It's gorgeous. Now this is in New York. New York X. And this is called Sprinkle Town. Yeah, let's see. The name of it is Spark of Magic. That's it. Spark of Magic. And I tell you what, I love lip glosses that's got a scent to them. This literally smells like chocolate as you're applying it. Seriously, and it's so smooth. It is a very smooth gloss. I love it and it blends perfectly with the sea pearl I was going to use one of my browns, but um, I like this color so much Once again, I'm using their puff clean my fingers. Boy, I thought I had everything over here that I wanted. <laughs> I forgot to bring something over. <laughs> Hold on a moment. I tried to keep myself all together when I do a video in this spot. I try. All right. Ah! <laughs> Frankenstein's bride. Ah! <laughs> 
That's the downside of wearing hair bands. If your hair takes to whatever you're doing with it, you know, it'll, it'll take the shape. Now, if someone else had been filming this, I could have had them take a before and after photo. But I'm the lone editor, photographer, film gro film of filmer, <laughs> director, writer, screen tester. Yeah, I do it all. So therefore, there's no before and after photo. Even though I could have took a photo, if I would have put it on timer, I guess I could have done that. I could have done that. Yeah. And think about it now, you thing. Oh well. Next time. <laughs> and now let's put just a little bit of dangles. Now I know that the ear hole is there. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. All right. So there is my review of the LA Color foundation powder and my take on it. Like I said, that is the very first time that I have ever used it. I am not impressed with it, um, but I'm not saying that other people aren't, you know, as to whatever anybody chooses. Uh, for me personally, I prefer CoverGirl. Others might prefer Maybelline or L'Oreal or, you know, to each their own. But I definitely do prefer the scent of Noxzema in the CoverGirl powder. I like how it covers. Um, I like how it feels against my skin. And I guess I'll just stick with CoverGirl. No matter how expensive it is it, to me, it's worth it. And it's not like I have to buy it every month. Uh, it lasts me because I don't wear makeup that often. It lasts me a year to even two years, so that's pretty good. Um, let's see if there's actually, it shows that the LA Colors is 0.35 ounce. Let's see here. All right. There's actually less powder in this little compactor. CoverGirl has got .39. So you even get more. Nice sturdy compact with even more powder. Can't beat that. So anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed this review. And I will be coming back at you with who knows what else. Anyway guys, I love you and see you on the next video.